Hey guys, hope you're all good. Today we're going to be looking at a way to make NVIDIA Shadow Play record your mic audio at exactly the same time as your in-game audio and in-game video. So, NVIDIA Shadow Play came out with the 1.7 uh, release for the NVIDIA GeForce Experience, which is the graphics drivers for the NVIDIA cards. Uh, I believe it's 6 series and above. I think it's 650 and above. Um, not the M cards, not the mobile cards, but only the 6 and 7 series graphics cards. And what it actually is, is a direct competitor for Fraps and DX Story. However, with the NVIDIA Shadow Play, it doesn't really impact games that much. You're going to lose around about a 5-10% to 10 frames a second drop on your performance of your uh, game when you're playing it. Because it actually uses a H.264 encoder, which is built into your graphics card to record all of the gameplay. Um, so that's great. The only problem is at the moment it's in beta and you can't actually record your microphone whilst you're playing. Until now that is, because I found an awesome way of getting around that until they bring up the integration of the um, microphone with your in-game video and audio. So anyway guys, I'm going to do a quick overview of Shadowplay and then we'll go into the guide on how to record your audio of your microphone when you're playing games and recording with NVIDIA Shadowplay. Guys, let's do a quick overview of NVIDIA Shadow Play so you know exactly what we're looking at. As I say, it is a direct competitor to Fraps and uh, DX Story and any other recording software that you might want to use, but it really, really makes the game a lot smoother for you to play and records in great quality using the encoder built into your graphics card. So, if you check our 1.7.1, which is the latest update um, to the NVIDIA GeForce Experience uh, control panel, it brings in this Shadow Play option here, which brings up this small menu just here. Very simply, you can toggle it on and off. The mode is three different options here. I've got it set to manual because I like to control what I'm doing. However, what's great about this is the shadow mode. Basically, let's say you have a uh, NVIDIA Shadow Play running, but you're not recording, and you have a really great uh, experience in Battlefield 4, do like seven kills in a row, etc., and they're really, really good, and you want to save them as footage. If you press Control and S, that actually saves the last 20 minutes of your recording. You can change that by changing the amount of time in the shadow time option here so if you want the last 15 minutes of video etc as you obviously move it up and down it will calculate the size of the footage you're going to be getting in gigabytes just here I have mine set to manual because that is the way that I like it obviously quality as well you've got low medium and high depending on what graphics card you're using I'm using a 680 so that's more than capable of handling uh, recording in 60 frames a second so I set mine uh, high and at the moment of course when you click audio options here you've got in game or off they're the only two that you've got you cannot record your microphone so you can't do any kind of let's plays and have the microphone play uh, microphone recording your voices you're doing through commentary and other things like that so at the moment there is no support for that in the app as of yet however as I say I've got a workaround for it which I'm going to explain in a minute the last uh, option here is the preference option um, this brings up another bar here and you can see shadow play has the position of where you want to put the recording indicator which shows that your games are recording the location of where you want to save your games and then your keyboard shortcuts that you want to use to actually record the games that you're playing right let's jump into how to actually record microphone audio as you're recording the games and I've got a feeling that you guys will really like this because say NVIDIA Shadow Play is great and to be able to integrate the microphone will just top it off and make it the best so you can work on using this fix until NVIDIA actually release the patch for it in the next update but until now check out this guide and see how you get on this is a really really simple fix guys and I think it will make a massive difference if you're using NVIDIA Shadow Play um, to play the game uh, to record your game should I say if you click on your um, NVIDIA Shadow Play which is here in my taskbar of course I've got it here you'll bring up your NVIDIA Shadow Play menu which is there we just discovered that a minute ago and when you click Shadow Play you get this option up here as you can see if we click on preferences I have got my toggle manual recording on and off save to control shift and R bit long winded but that's kind of the way that I like it anyway what you can also do is download an awesome free bit of software which is called free sound recorder so if I double click on that and open that up 
you can see here it says my volume is too high at the moment so I'm going to need to turn myself down a little bit but what's great about that is you can go into options and you can actually set your hotkey to exactly the same as your NVIDIA GeForce uh, Shadow Play so what you can do is go into a game press what I've got here Control Shift and R and as long as you've got NVIDIA Shadow Play open and you've got the sound recorder open it'll actually record your audio at exactly the same time as when you're playing the game obviously that'll include your in-game audio and your in-game video in the Shadow Play file but when you export that and put it into um, Sony Vegas or put it into um, uh, Final Cut Pro 10 which is what I use um, the audio will be directly matched up in time with your gameplay and so if you shoot someone and say oh what a great shot that's going to be exactly in time when you export them across because the time is going to be exactly the same when you start and end so what I'm going to do now I'm going to pan out to a um, video of both my monitors because I'm using a dual monitor setup which makes this a lot easier to show you guys exactly how easy this is to do but as I say I'll link the uh, in the description the free sound recorder file for you to download it's a great bit of software and you can save it as I say in whatever quality you want I'm using mp3 just for now but obviously WAV is going to be the best quality but let's have a look then guys at um, the view uh, that I'm going to be doing and show you exactly how it works right then guys so let me show you exactly how it's working I fired up Diablo 3 um, as you can see here I'm not actually signed in I've not played the game for a while but I just thought I'd load that up for some reason and I've got my second monitor over here on my second monitor I of course have got my um, free sound recorder open and I've got the hotkey um, which is uh, set here to Da, 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 uh, control shift and R and stop recording control shift and S and I've also got my NVIDIA Shadow Play open on my second monitor here so what you'll notice is if I go into the game of Diablo which is there and obviously that's on my main screen now if I press control shift and R to start recording it started recording using the NVIDIA Shadow Play right there and as you can see me talking, my microphone is plonked down here on my headset. You can see that as I start talking into the microphone, it's also recording my audio as well. So if I pan back out now on my setup, if it decides to autofocus, there we go. You can see that I'm recording my gameplay using Shadow Play, and I'm also recording my audio right here using the Free Sound Recorder. I'm going to stop the, that for now. And there you go, that stops it as well. Um, so now what will happen is, as you can see in here, I've actually got a, um, a video, uh, sorry, video, a sound file there of me recorded what I've got. If I exit out of Diablo now and go to the file list here, so it's Paul, Documents, Free Sound Recorder. So I come back out to here, go to Documents, Free Sound Recorder. There is my audio files there. I can drag that along with my, if I go to my D drive, game recordings, Diablo 3, which is right there. You can see I've got the stuff recorded video wise, and I've got it matched up audio wise as well. So anyway, when I put that into Final Cut, they're going to sit perfectly together. Hope that is uh, interesting for you guys, and I hope it helps you out as well, because it, it really helped me out. I just kind of thought of it, and thought, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll try and make a video on this. I think it might work. Got home from work today, and it worked, so I thought I'd share my information with you guys, because as I say, Shadow Play is far superior than Fraps and DX Story. It just needs that mic integration, but until we get that, guys, you can use the tips you found in this video, and record all your games in awesome 1080p. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe And if I've done anything wrong or you can think of anything or a better way of doing it Then please let me know. I'd love to know